I have some concerns. Some of you have a mindset, which I find most concerning. <laughs> and let me give you this scenario here. I interact with a lot of you on social media, you know, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, blah, 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 whatever. And a common scenario is you will ask me a question and I'll answer, I'll give you a tip or something, and then I'll encourage you to train with either myself or another coach or take a class. And you'll say, no, 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 I just needed that one thing. I'm set for life. I need that. That's all I needed. So it's not how it works, guys. Um, I give tips on social media with the intention of guiding you along your path. I never mean to imply, even for a second, that it will have you set for life with just doing the free four minute video tips uh, alone. Um, that's, and if I gave you that impression, sorry, sincerely, because that's, that's not what this is about. Think of it like fitness. Let me show you this thing. The reason I'm always flashing this in front of your face is because I know that most people don't think of the vocal folds, vocal folds being in here, as having, you have real muscles, guys. And that's not even talking about like the muscles of, of your diaphragm, muscles, plural, yes, more than one muscle, the muscles of your intercostals and your abdomen and your posterior chain and your pelvic floor and we have psoas. There's so many pieces to this that to just reduce it to do this one trick, this one tip. And I, I know I see that as well. just give me five minutes and I'll get you the voice of your dreams. I, I see them too. Yeah, I know they exist. Yes. But it's also why I share the story of how in my late teens and early 20s, I damn it, I injured my voice three times. And thankfully, with the techniques I know now, it's been a couple decades where I haven't had any injuries at all. And I sing nonstop for hours on end every day because I cracked the code, so to speak. But each time that I was injured, I was a really good student to really bad teachers. And the bad teachers promised me quick, fast, easy. And they taught me to ignore the warning signs and symptoms that something was wrong. And instead of encouraging me to develop a full balanced technique, a practice and develop interoception, proprioception, an ability to feel myself and to tune in, they, they patched things up here and there until the instrument just broke down. And I know a lot of coaches, they're like, oh, you talk about injury so much. And I'm like, shut up. People like you, this is the thing, I live in a nice house. And the reason why I can pay for this nice house is because I don't wish it on you, but the fact is most of you will learn the hard way. Most of you won't come to me until you're sent to me by a doctor or by your manager because you will get injured. And these other coaches who don't know what it's like to be on the road, to tour, to, to, to pay your bills with your voice, they don't know. Because if they did, they wouldn't be speaking out. I'm trying to warn you. I know I'm not saying cool, sexy stuff. I know you want to hear fast, 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 easy, 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 but I'm telling you the truth. <sighs> And you will learn the hard way, so I will always have nice things because you will, when the time comes, you will be willing to part with copious amounts of money to get your voice back. But I, this is the thing. I'd much rather help you prevent that from happening. I swear, I, I'd much rather help you prevent it. Here's the secret that I didn't think was a secret, but apparently it's a secret. Daily practice is a thing, even if you're gifted, even if you're talented. Here's another secret. It's okay to not be immediately perfect. It's okay to work hard for things and to, and to grow gradually. In a recent group class we did, we had a guy, a very talented vocalist, who was like, I'm just so frustrated because I've been really working on this technique. I'm like, how long have you been working on it? Since yesterday. This is how many of you think. Like, try it for at least, a, give it two weeks. And then, and then let the frustration come in, you know? So look, I'm not gonna tell you how to feel. I believe in feeling your feelings, but I think that some of you have a skewed sense of how this is supposed to work. It is work and it's, and it's a practice. It's a practice that is a life long practice. You don't learn a trick or two and then you're done. And I think that um, a lot of people are peddling <laughs> to to your laziness, to be frank, and to and to your naivete, and to, I think even you know that is bull, you know. But you got to do the work, and you got to do the work routinely, and you have to address the instrument as a whole. You are you are a whole person always. You cannot just spot fix one piece and be good for life. It just doesn't work like that. But instead of feeling overwhelmed by the enormity and complexity and intricacy of your body, embrace it. This is a magical thing we have. You know, embrace it, explore it. There's so much power and, and incredible stuff in here. But 
I'm going to end my rant. I'm offering a ton of resources through my site, airapproach.com, but whether you work with me or with somebody else, just know you can't just do one little thing and be set for life. Like, do the work, get disciplined, think of it like fitness. You know how if you see like the bodybuilder folks, it's they just, you know, it's a lifestyle thing. They're always, you know, they're doing their macros, so they're carb cycling, you know, whatever. I don't live that life. But the point is this, you know, get that serious. But for with your instrument, if you if you are that serious, and if you're not, then this doesn't apply to you. But if you're that serious, then get serious. All right, I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs>